Good morning all. How are you doing today? We're doing a lot better today. <laughs> Here we have a Seco DC motor control. It's model number 8603A-NO. And with the Variac, we're going to apply 220 volts AC single phase to terminals 4 and 5. I have six series light bulbs that's going to simulate our motor. They're connected to terminals 6 and 7. Here's my hookups right here. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you these hookups at the end of the video. Set that down. Okay, we're powered up. Here's our navel. Watch out because these terminals are live. <laughs> they'll, they'll give you a little tingle. Here we go. Okay, I hear the SCRs firing. There we go. We're running. Okay, this drive had a blown trace on terminal 5 going to one of the fuses, so I had to repair that. But it looks like it's working now. We'll hook up a motor and see if we can get it to run a motor. Okay, let's see what we can do. Turn the drive on. 220 volts AC single phase to terminals 4 and 5. Here's our master enable. See if we can go. Look at that. Alright. Let me slow down a little bit. You fixed another one. in the other direction. Come on. Oh. There we are. Running the other way. Good job, folks. Good job. Always makes me happy when y'all come over to see what we're doing next. I'll show you the hookups to this drive at the end of the video. It's very simple to hook up. Need a potentiometer and two switches. Let's head to the next job. Oh well, did y'all enjoy that snow? <laughs> we got, we're still we're still under the snow, and uh, I really enjoy watching the birds in the backyard on the bird feeders coming in to warm up their bellies before the night falls. So here we are with uh, the Seco DC motor control model A six zero three A dash N O. Here are the hookups. This is terminal board 3, TB3. And on 
terminals 4 and 5, I applied 220 volts AC single phase to power up that drive. Now be very careful with these voltages because some drives are 120 volts AC single phase in. So look at your data plate before you throw the smoke at your drive. A1 and A2 are on terminals 6 and 7. That I applied the Baldor permanent magnet DC motor to terminal 6 and 7. Now on terminal 8, that's our enable. With this switch open, that drive will not run. And when we close that switch, the drive will run that DC motor. There's a switch. Uh, I can't remember which terminal board it's beside, but it's set to armature or tack. I set it to armature so I didn't have to have a tack feedback. So if your drive comes in set to uh, tack feedback and you want to run a motor in simple mode, set that, uh, set that switch to, to armature feedback. And you won't have to have a tack. But when we close this switch, that motor will run on terminal 8 down here. Terminal 9 and 10 are forward. Terminal 11 and 12 are reverse. So, when we close that switch and our uh, terminal 9 and 10 are switched to terminal 8 with this switch closed, that motor will run in one direction. Now, that depends on how you have uh, A1 and A2 connected. So, let's say, for instance, that a1 and A2 are in this position right here and we close this switch and it runs clockwise. Uh, nice, we're set up, we're running forward. But if we run uh, in reverse and counterclockwise when our switch is set to forward, we need to swap these two wires right here, 6 and 7, so that we get the orientation of the direction of that motor rotation correct with this switch right here. Now, we open up this switch, the motor stops, we move this switch to reverse, we close the switch on terminal 8, and now, if we're oriented properly up here, this motor will run counterclockwise. When I say clockwise and counterclockwise, what that means is I'm looking into the shaft of the motor, and if it rotates clockwise, we're moving forward. And looking into the shaft of that motor, if it runs counterclockwise, we're running reverse. Let's go look at the speed potentiometer now. Now down here on terminal board 2, pins 11, 10, and 9 is where I applied a 2 kilo ohm 2 watt potentiometer to run that permanent magnet motor on this Seco DC, DC motor control. Uh, here on terminal 11 we have a positive 6.2 volts DC and on pin 9 is analog ground. The V reference input on terminal 10 is connected to the wiper. 11 and 9 connected to the wings of that potentiometer. Now, that's all you need to get this thing up and going. Just pay attention to where that uh, armature tack feedback switch is set. If you're set to, if that switch is set to tack, and you run this uh, drive with uh, no tack, it's going to run away. It's going to go balls to the wall. <laughs> it's going to go full bore. So make sure if you're running without that tack, that uh, that you got that uh, that armature tack switch set to armature. Now, before you send it back to the customer, make sure you set it to the position that it was in when it uh, came to you. Otherwise, they're going to have the same problem that you would have <laughs> of your motor running away. There we go. There we go.
Alright all, I'm going to go in the backyard and fill up the bird feeders. Then I'm going to cook us some dinner. I'm going to cook us some slow cooker homemade beef stew. I really enjoy cooking. It's a lot of fun and whatnot. But uh, there you go. There's your hookups. Thank you all for coming by. Let's see what we're doing next.